Welcome everyone to your Mercury Retrograde reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, hit that big old like button and subscribe. Okay, guys, this is going to be a big one right now because we do have that solar eclipse coming in. If you guys haven't watched the solar eclipse video, be sure to um, get in there and watch that. Okay, these are running straight back to back because they are very close to each other and really working off of each other as well. Um, remember, the, the perfect timing for the Mercury retrograde was for the solar eclipse as they are in tune to each other universally. Um, and of course, there's a lot of cosmic things that are going on right now within portals as well. Um, also talking about that April 4th through the 5th portal as well that was coming in with the, uh, excuse me, the Venus enters Aries. Um, but this Mercury retrograde is in Aries, so it wants you to protect your energies um, from the past and things that can hurt you. Any kind of karmic releases need to be done and over with. Um, and But it's also talking about, um, excuse me, things that um, bring in wisdom. This is all a month about wisdom. Really the Great Awakening. And that's really what it is, right? Because we're talking also about that solar eclipse that when darkness prevails as the light is covered, right? So it's bringing in all these hidden things that are going to transform into truth. So, and um, of course the Mercury retrograde is very interesting as well because it's going to want to bring what? Back the past, right? That you can either shed light on or be sucked right back into it. So it's going to really be about how you're reacting or responding to that situation. Okay. So are you going to shy away from the past or are you going to actually, deep, you know, dig deep into it? Or are you going to really wake up and see what's really going on around that past? Okay. Definitely a shakeup going on. Uh, with the Gaia Gateway activation over here, learning experience, wisdom, transformation, and earth intelligence. So there it is right there, that portal wanting you to wake up to the situations around you um, ancestral realm karmic release healing the language and boundaries mm -hmm. okay i'm always talking about that and guys please right and i I'm pretty sure i said it in the last one uh in the solar eclipse one do not be worried about you know whatever the news is telling you all these crazy things yes Yes, the solar eclipse, as I'm pretty sure I said in a couple of videos before, can cause, right, can cause earthquakes or, you know, little small things like that. But, um, def you know, definitely during the uh, total solar eclipse, so it would be in that area of where the total solar eclipse is. But I wouldn't be worrying about Jesus coming back, okay, <laughs> or anything like that right now, okay. I don't know where they're getting this three days of darkness thing going on, but it's not. It's like an hour, okay? So I don't know who's telling fairy tales over here, but I wouldn't be worried about that. <clears throat> be more worried about, you know, if and when that, you know, small earthquake is going to happen like it did in Idaho. The last total eclipse we had, right? Solar, uh, solar eclipse. I think it was Idaho. Was it Idaho, guys? You remember. Um, Darva Patra is coming out over here, and this is the light within, shining the light up. Love that. Bringing that wisdom in. The ultimate wisdom, the ultimate truth, having the spirit of the owl coming in. Once again, there's a lot of wisdom and a lot of truth coming out in this Mercury retrograde. Um, you know, always watch your regular Mercury retrograde things. You know, my ex came back, this, that, and the other. But like I said, because the planets are so aligned with this, you know, celestial event that's going on. We have to really watch ourselves, right, on not getting stuck in the past, really seeing where we're going and how we're going to get through things and not allowing that past to suck us back into its grips. Have the overall wisdom, see the truth that's coming out through the situation. This is going to be in Aries 27 degrees, right? That's, yeah, big area of Aries. We do have the release the past coming out. Releasing the past does not mean that we forget, nor does it mean that if something bad happens, that this was okay. It means that we make a personal choice to no longer allow our history to dictate and shape our life. 
both now or in our present time or in our future. That is exactly what the Mercury retrograde is talking about. How are you letting it dictate your past? You know, if you really believe that this person from your past is really going to be your ultimate love, should be your ultimate love, write down the pros and cons of the situation. Is this person here really for me? Is there enough pros to the situation? Or is it just a blast from the past? More karmic, more karmic cycles, more karmic patterns, more learning to do. Outcome. This card asks you not to be too attracted and attached to a specific outcome. In any new situation, the possibilities are open-ended. Anything might happen. Try not to prescribe a fixed outcome within your mind, as this may limit your ability and availability to access the infinite scope of possibilities sent to guide you in the best possible directions. Remember, Mercury retrograde is really a karmic draw. It's asking you, did you learn from your past? Is there really chains to this past? Or is it something that I really need for my past to come back that we can actually heal from? Or is it something that we shouldn't be together from? We just can't seem to learn, so we keep making karmic trenches. It's about using the wisdom within and healing. And like I said, within the solar eclipse reading, this really is a month of just that healing, wisdom, truth, awakening. Awakening to what's really going on within the, the world. Wow. We have the magnetism of Eros over here. I'm actually going to read this card, and the reason is, is because this is a very deep card. Um, and that's for a very big, huge... As I'm seeing the spiraling over here, it really just thinks of the portal that's going on around us right now, especially as you have all this Taurus and Venus um, energy also coming in this month. It's really making way for a lot of love, compassion, the awakening of the love, the compassion the understandings, the healing. Um, that's one, number one over here. It's like, how do you get to one in the book, right? Like there's so many things going on in this book. Okay, there it is. It says, trust in what your heart yearns for without concern about how it will manifest. And yes, remember this time to also manifest, my friends, okay? <clears throat> I don't think I said that in the video, but remember, we do have the time to manifest on the solar eclipse. A very good time to start manifesting. Take steps towards that which moves your heart. Reach out for what your soul wants and needs. Allow yourself to be vulnerable. For only then can you be truly held. That which appears out of reach or unavailable to you is closer than you truly realize. The magnetism of Eros is our soul's fascination with that which appears different and calls to us at a deep level. This soul deep attraction inspires us to remain open, be passionate, and willing to engage with life, other people, and new vitalizing pathways and practices that inspire us. It keeps us moving on our authentic life path, living by the call of your heart. This is to resolve the negative. Okay. Let go and allow yourself to heal. The challenge and the gift of Eros leads us into our vulnerability. From there, we can also recognize our strength and our dignity. Who are we truly? Trust where your heart is leading you. If you're going to just keep continuing, right, to give excuses, especially during a Mercury retrograde, you know, to why this outcome keeps happening, right? We have to pull away from those excuses. We have to pull away from those negative pieces so we can release the past. Quit telling ourselves, quit playing victim to our negative downfalls, right? Or even maybe even blaming everybody else for our reasons of why we can't get out, you know, and do things. 
um, because there's always something for someone. There's no such thing as not being any anything for no one. Um, the telepathy of the Terra matter, right? Understanding where you're standing, understanding where you can be and how you can get things out there and get things moving. Such a beautiful reading. And we really want to watch that. So going to each sign over here, and I'm going to do it the same way I did in the uh, solar eclipse one. If you guys haven't watched that yet, it's just me taking the elements. And for... Um, for this, I want you to watch your sun sign, and um, you can watch, watch your ascending for this one will be fine. Okay, so you can watch your rising and ascending, um, which is your secondary sign, okay? Your rising sign, okay? Um, and then, of course, for my beautiful cuspers who watch, I want you to take your sun sign plus the, sun, the sign that's coming in, okay? So... For instance, if you're Scorpio Sagittarius, I want you to watch this, you know, watch for that water element and then watch for that fire element as well. And then, of course, whatever your ascending is. I will say what they are, though, in case you guys don't know. Okay? I, I know some people don't know what the element for everything is. <clears throat> some people are new, and that's fine. Everybody is learning. Okay? So, getting straight in here. First element coming out is air. So for the air signs, we're going to the element of air. We're going to Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. During this Mercury retrograde, your best advice is. Keep yourself disciplined and, of course, honest and truthful through the situation. You as an air sign are going to find this to be one of your biggest pieces because we're talking about that knowledge and we're talking about that truth being told. So this is definitely going to be one of those places where you're going to feel like you're in a leadership and an authoritative place right now as that air is really coming through because it is Mercury retrograde, which is an air quality. Um, so you're going to feel very empowered um, in a lot of ways. Um, you might even feel like there's a lot of um, clarity coming through, okay? And it also says just be careful with delays, boredom, and lack of motivation, okay? So I'm giving you something positive and something that could be very negative coming towards you. Ooh. <laughs> okay? So it could be that there's some energy and lack of energy that's coming toward you. Like I said, protect that energy, my friends, right, during this time. This is a time to protect energy, um, because of the delays and feeling weighed down, you might even feel a little more tired than normal um, during this time due to all of this uh, energy that's pushing towards you, you air signs, okay? Okay, going to the next one. Dun, dun, dun. Give me the next sign out, please. We have earth sign coming out. Okay, so the next one coming out is earth. So let's see what's going on during this Mercury retrograde. Please, this is already started. Mm. Give us the best messages, please, for my Earth signs. This is Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Watch being pessimistic, disappointed, feeling like things are not working in your favor. Careful of any kind of confusion or any kind of insecurities that might be coming that you feel like I'm kind of pushed into a corner, okay? Just remember that you are going through a new phase and an awakening. There's going to be a lot of uh, reconciliations, a lot of forgiveness, and a lot of mercy coming around. You're going to feel like there's some kind of inner calling in a new phase that you really want to hold on deeply to. So just do not allow yourself to become too confused about the situation as that horn is being blown for you, earth signs. Okay, so there is a day of kind of like where you're going to feel like it's kind of redemption for you as you are making this karmic way. So you are getting some kind of karmic payoff with some kind of karmic redemption going on over here as you are feeling like things are coming back towards you. Okay, so you're definitely going to feel that. You're going to feel like you have beautiful things coming towards you. Wow, this is beautiful. Air signs are going to feel like you're in the leadership roles. You're taking on great communication. Wow. And then, of course, you over here are having some kind of great rewards coming through. Next card coming out is... Show me who is next. Next card coming out, please. Is fire. Nice. 
So for all my fire signs, this is Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. During this Mercury retrograde, you have give me the positive and the negative. Started out that way, so let's just go ahead and continue it that way. Living in the past. Ooh, careful of that past coming back to get you. <laughs> to want you to get playful with it. Wanting you to feel that past. Having a lot of exes coming back. A lot of past things coming towards you. Okay, so remember, this is a time to move forward and have faith and keep your optimism alive. A lot of you are going to have a lot of, you know, it's kind of crazy because you're, you're going to have a lot of optimism. You're going to feel this huge positive boom coming up at, you know, at you. You're going to feel like you want to get out there and blindly want to take leaps of faith through things. But yet you do have a lot of living in the past. So there is definitely your past could come up. Your exes come to haunt you. But is it really haunting you or not? That And you know, it's kind of crazy because that's what we were talking about before. If you feel like it could be a good thing, write down the pros and cons. Is it really or is it an illusion? For some of you, you're going to get a lot of, there could be a lot of things that are going to be a lot of misinformation and a lot of diversity that ends up coming around, okay? So, as you're getting ready to take these steps, okay, you might already start feeling them, or it's like maybe people are telling you that they're doing great, they're doing this, but maybe they're misguiding you, maybe they're misleading you. It does feel like there's something kind of misleading. And the last one coming out is water. Come on, give me the water card. Thanks, they give me the cancer card. Give me the water card. Give me, yeah, I think you throw me cancer. Thanks, and Pisces. It threw me cancer and Pisces. <laughs> no, just the water card itself. Thank you. Okay, and for the water cards, we've got Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. That's funny. That's funny. I was like, give me water. It gives me cancer and Pisces. Okay. And I have one on the floor. If that's Scorpio, I'm going to laugh. No, it was Aquarius. Okay. <clears throat> okay, anyway, so for my beautiful water signs, tell me what is going on with them. That's messages. Right now is a good time to start doing some kind of collaboration, a lot of teamwork, building things, and it's really great for building teamwork. But yet you also have a time of difficult decisions. Watch your confusion. Watch your stalemates. Watch your thinking before making decisions. Because it does feel like there's a lot of things that are moving towards you, water signs, that is really fast action, you know, and going to be very fast action. Meaning people are going to come at you with these ideas and stuff and make you want to make choices now. Man, I just like, once again, pros and cons, right? Because is it really... I feel like there's a lot of things that are going on right now that if people are making people do a lot of fast things, then it doesn't need to be so damn fast. But, you know, it is in Aries. And Aries is what, my friends? Impulsive. Impulsiveness means what? Fast acting. So we can only say that the reason that the signs are getting these, because I even feel it here within air. It's almost like, okay, wait, but I have to stand in my authority and then we see it within the Taurus, it's like, okay, hold on, but I've got to make this great awakening and kind of look at these things. And then over here, right, I want to be impulsive, fire, I want to be impulsive and take these actions. And it's just kind of crazy because with it being in Aries, it is, it's definitely pushing everybody to want to be very impulsive. So I would really be careful about the past because now I can see exactly how it's going. Struggling relationships, bringing up Domestic disharmony from the past, bringing up shit that was long, you know, long ago, lost two or three, four months ago that all of a sudden is playing its its role. So you could say we swept that underneath the rug and now it's somebody <laughs> picked up the rug and it said, Phew! and all that dirt came back at us and made a big, a big fog mess, right? Big dust storm. Um, and that's literally what's going on. Okay. It's like, well, whoever the elephant in the room is, there no, there's no longer an elephant in the room. People are going to say what they want to say, and they're going to get it out. It's time for the truth to come out. It's time for everything to be seen the way it needs to be seen. And that's what's going on collectively with everyone. And you can see it in every 
every sign, every element, right? Okay, so yes, right now is the time of what? I just seen it too, deception, right? Deception, not honoring the truth, being only maybe the dreamer, but not seeing exactly what's going on around the scenes. So there's going to be something that's actually very dreamy about this whole situation, but having a lot of deception as well. It's almost like this Mercury retrograde says, well, and then of course, with that solar eclipse, once again, because why? Because the light is darkened and, and when it comes back out, the truth shall prevail. Okay, but please, guys, on the internet, please do not watch the end of the world is coming and all that. Like I said, the only thing I would be more worried about is some kind of geographical, you know, like earth, uh, small earthquakes. Um, I know that a lot of times we have the total lunar eclipses cause, um, you know, tidal waves. You know what I'm saying? So just watch things like that more than anything, because um, I have seen those throughout history of time, um, earthquakes and stuff like that. So that's what I would be worried about. Okay, I wouldn't be worrying about um, the rise of uh, Revelations, John chapter 15, 22 right now. It's, you know, if that's going to happen, it's going to happen anyways, but it wasn't because of some solar eclipse. Okay. I have not seen anything like that in the readings, so I'm just leaving it there. Okay. I've not seen that, but I have seen a lot of knowledge and a lot of wisdom and a lot of truths coming out. And that's probably more truth than... You know, all of a sudden the Antichrist falling out of the sky. Okay, I don't think we're going to have an alien invasion either. Okay, and if I see it, I will be the first one to be on here to let you guys know. Till next time, peace and love, my